YouTube, Pokemon Unite is finally here. Let's check it out, here we go. All right, guys, as usual, if you could help me out with a like or uh, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying competitive Pokemon and uh, Pokemon Unite content that's coming soon, as soon as this game actually drops. This is the Japanese beta, so to actually get this game, you would have to make a uh, eShop account uh, in the country of Japan. Um, you can actually look that up. It's very simple. It, it takes maybe five minutes. All you need is an extra email. And uh, you can register for an eShop uh, account inside of Japan, and then you can download the beta. It's on the Japanese eShop. Um, so basically, we're going to be doing a little bit of a gameplay, uh, just uh, first thoughts, and uh, let's see how it goes. Um, so far, I've played it a little bit. Um, I really, really like Talonflame and Pikachu. They seem like very, very strong Pokemon inside here. Obviously, Pikachu being the mascot feels really OP, right? Um, if I can get my hands on Talonflame, I would like that. I want to I wanna be able to showcase good gameplay <laughs> and not feed. Um, but basically what this is, is if you're familiar with either Dota 2 or League of Legends, which are some of the bigger games and currently, basically what this is, is um, Pokemon's take on that, right? You uh, basically have a base and you have to score points on the enemy side, and that's pretty much it. Um, instead of kills, I mean, you do get knockouts, which is kind of cool. Um, <laughs> conveniently, it doesn't show your depths or anything, so you don't get flamed by your teammates. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, it, it looks like a really, really fun game. My wife has played it. She's enjoying it as well. Uh, sometimes hogging my Switch for it, so... You know, just letting you know. She's yelling at me. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so we're going to be using Talonflame here. Um, I played around with Absol, Talonflame, Greninja, Garchomp. Everything seems pretty cool. Um, gameplay is pretty pretty smooth so far, no issues there. So excited for this to release. It should be releasing globally in July. So hopefully next week or to have it line up with the July 4th holiday where everyone's off would be really cool. So that way there's a lot of people playing. But uh, yeah, be really, really cool. All right, we're loading into this game. One thing you can do is you can actually click on these names and then you can see the player uh, behind each Pokemon. So you can kind of get an idea who's who. And then you'll see the Pokemon's name in white, and then underneath of that is <coughs> the person's name. So there you go. So see how it says Sammy TV right under um, Talonflame's name, which is Fire Arrow in Japanese. Really cool name. So you move with the left stick. Um, if you hold L, you can move the camera with the right stick. You do normal attacks with, the uh, with A, the A button. And then what you want to do is R or ZR are what are your special moves. And these moves can evolve into two different moves. Um, so you'll see here, you can level it up into two different moves once you reach certain levels in the game. So there we go. See, now we have our ZR button, which is going to be this really cool attack. Looks like Aerial Ace. And basically what you do is you catch Pokemon. You see that Pokeball in the middle with the number six? You basically have six points to score, so you gotta go to that orange dot on the map on the top. And then if you get close enough, you can just drop this here, and there we go. We scored six points for our team. So, off to a good start. So we're gonna catch this real quick. There we go. Oh, let's get out of here. Actually, let's engage. Score two points. There we go. Our team is actually really competent, which is a really good thing. I really am appreciating having good teammates. That's not always the case. Um, so let's back off here. We don't want to die. One thing that uh, you can do is if you go onto your base, you get shields, right? You, and you recover HP slowly. Additionally, you can grab these berries back here, and they, full you, uh, they heal you for a bigger amount. So it's actually really nice. Um, so what we want to do is we don't want to stay around doing nothing, right? So we want to be collecting Pokemon and just uh, accumulating points for us to score eventually. So what we want to do is grab a couple of these and then you have to keep in mind that the more points you have to score, the longer it takes to score. So sometimes it's actually better to just grab a few and score small increments of points instead of a big chunk of points, right? Especially early, um, the respawn timers are really, really low. And now, after a certain level, you evolve. And now we can drop these eight points in here. There we go. 
go. All right, we can upgrade here. We got two options, you see, on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Um, I like the first option, so that's going to be kind of like a fire move. Um, I don't think we can fight that, so we're going to back off. We're going to go look for more Pokemon to catch. Let's grab this Corphish here. Pretty good stuff. There we go. All right, see, so we can see on the map, um, on the bottom side of the map, they're kind of fighting right now, so we want to head down there. All right, we got three points to drop. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's grab these. One thing that uh, might trick veteran Pokemon players is there's actually no typing in the game, right? So if you're like a fire type, you're fighting a, a, wa a water type, that's not actually considered or taken into consideration when you're fighting. So don't worry about using your X scissor move on Charizard, for example, or opposing fire Pokemon because it's not going to matter. So we got Talonflame. Um, the first ability is really, really strong. It's called Fly, um, which basically, you know, like in the Pokemon game, you go up and then you come back down and you hit the opponent. So it's very cool. Watch, we can do this. Bait our opponent in and drop down and smack him with that. There you go. He's so dead. We got him. All right, boys. We got 18 points. You'll notice how that takes a lot longer now. There you go. All right, so we're going to use our um, spell here to move a little bit faster. These green berries over here, they allow you to speed up and move a lot faster so you can join your team. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, we're dead. No, we actually got out. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, we were so close to getting the shield. Honestly, that Cinderace should have helped me out, man. <laughs> Just saying, man. All right, after five minutes, there's a little platform here that will launch you to six points on the map of your preference, so really cool. We're going to dodge that attack and then come back down. There's also skins in the game, but they don't change the stats or anything. Um, so we're going to keep looking for Pokemon here. Buffalon. That does a lot of damage. You see that? Nearly deleted that Corphish. And now we have our ultimate ability at level 9. So you'll see over here, right next to the 100%, you'll see that 100, um, that little fire thing. That's actually Flare Blitz. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what this does, but it's actually insane. It pushes the Pokemon a set distance, so... Oh, no, we missed. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, I was pushing the wrong button. I was trying to fly out of there so he couldn't hit me. If you push plus, you can look at the menu, and uh, you can see how many uh, kills have been earned by your team and how many assists. Um, so you can kind of see who's doing good and who's doing bad. And now, this, this is the, the launch platform, right? So you can select anywhere on here. You push ZR, and then it flies you in. Um, so we're going to get a few of these Pokemon. and see, we have five points right now that we can drop. We got eight now. Looks like our team is uh, struggling a little bit. Slowly healing. Okay, we have our ultimate move here. So Flare Blitz. We can kind of aim this any direction we'd like. Oh, we messed that up. There we go. So we got points to score now. 36. This is going to be big. Take the whole thing. All right, great. So we see Ninetales over there on the top of the map. Um, we're going to go back recall. Maybe try to stop her. And we're going to go back down here. All right. 
So you'll see there, I can push the Y button to move faster for a set amount of time. It's really helpful for escaping and such. If you're familiar with like other MOBAs like League of Legends or uh, Mobile Legends, Bang Bang, etc., um, you're going to be very familiar with like, kind of what to do, the movement and the buttons and stuff. But if not, you know, don't be too intimidated by it. It is PvP. Um, oh, got to get out of here. This guy's a tank, Crossel. Oh, he's so dead. Wait, what? Absol does so much damage, oh my god. So while we're dead, we can actually move the control stick on the right to kind of see the map and see what's going on. Get some information. See, there we go. Krussel's getting dunked on. Good kill. So I'm gonna go here in the middle. Because there's a Zapdos in the middle of the arena that we can fight. Greninja died for no reason. I don't know what he's doing. See, we're a lot faster than them, so we can actually just get away. They're all dead. Um, we have points to score, so we're going to move to the nearest circle up here. Um, you you'll notice the bright orange circles are the only places you can score, so... Make sure you're not going to those darker circles on the inner part. Now we can fly. The cool thing about Talon Flame is you can kind of fly over walls. Oh no, he took the goal away. I was gonna try to score some points here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, and that's gonna be game. Game set stop! Alright, so we ended up winning the match. 442 points to 296. Very cool. Um, at the end, you get this really cool summary that shows who helped a lot in the team and who did nothing. So there we go. We got MVP. Luckily, you guys didn't get to see one of those games where I just uh, <laughs> feed a lot. But uh, yeah, I mean, 127 points, not bad. Slowbro, I mean, understandable. He's more of a tank. Um, so he's not really scoring a lot of points, he's just uh, supporting the rest, and then Greninja scored a lot of points, almost as much as I did, so... Um, yeah, that's essentially it. Um, you basically have a variety of characters that you can add, and uh, according to some leaks, I think Blastoise and Gardevoir are coming um, in a few weeks to the game, so... Maybe when it actually releases, those Pokemon will be available to be in the cast, so... Uh, very exciting stuff uh, for Pokemon Unite. Uh, really cool gameplay, and um, let me know if you guys want to see more Pokemon Unite gameplay. I know there's a rank system, so maybe we can, uh, you know, play a couple rank matches and, and showcase that and some strategies and stuff. So let's open this loot box because there's a little bit of a loot box here. Let's see if we can get a cool skin or something. Oh no, it's just a bunch of coins. But again, guys, you can actually download this and install it yourself. Um, it's on the Japanese eShop, so just a quick Google search, you'll be able to figure it out. And um, if you guys are already playing, let me know in the comment section what, what Pokemon are you playing? Who's your main? Um, right now, for me, I think my main is going to be Talonflame or Garchomp is what it's looking like. Garchomp is really, really strong, too. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next Pokemon Unite video. Peace.